I'd like to officially welcome our newest recruit to the start of his WWE journey. You come into our sport, think it's going to be easy. But you're in for a real wake-up call. If you ask me, I think he's going to do big things here. Look out. Superman punch! That shovel's an equalizer. Spear! Spear! This is going to be one for the ages. We are going to give you the foundation to succeed in WWE. What you do with it is up to you. So this is it, day one of training at the WWE Performance Center. As you can see, it looks like everyone heard I was coming and decided they'd be better off staying home. This is cool, but there's no way my journey ends here. I'm going to WWE and then straight to the top, where I make sure hey, that- what are you doing? You're an hour and a half early for your orientation. I was just... checking out the facility? <laughs> There'll be plenty of time for that later. How did you even get in here? Guy up front let me in. Oh, big guy with the mustache? Kinda sweaty? Yep. Well, that's Todd's final strike. Hope he enjoys early retirement. Oh, no need to get anyone in trouble. He, uh, definitely checked my ID and even did a pat down. Really thorough. So Todd's all right in my book. I feel very safe in his big, sweaty hands. Fine, whatever. Anyway, you're going to need to fill out your information on this and sign a bunch of waivers before you can begin training today. And when you're done with all that, there's actually a fun part. You get to design your wrestling gear in case you become a WWE superstar. You mean when I become a WWE superstar? Yeah, sure. Wait, have you been filming this entire time? Is that a problem? Filming's not allowed in here without prior consent, which you should have been told by security. Frickin' Todd. Turn it off, please. You done with all that yet? Just finished. It takes time to design a look like that. Eh, I've seen worse. So now what? Should I go wait at the front desk with you until it's time to start? Front desk? What do you think I do here? I'm Corey Klein, head recruiter and occasional babysitter of people who don't follow instructions and show up way earlier than they're supposed to. Oh, that Corey. I guess when we were emailing, I just saw your name and assumed that... You know what? It's nice to meet you in person, finally. Go get changed. Then head over to the gym. The other trainees who started last week should be showing up soon. And to clear up any potential confusion on your end, they are men. Got it. Thanks. Hey, new guy, right? I'm Hector Flores. Welcome to the PC. 
Thanks. I'm excited to get going. Especially since I heard you started last week. It started here, at least. I've been training in wrestling for years before this. It's part of growing up in Mexico. Are you from one of those famous wrestling families? No, where I'm from, you were either into wrestling or football. Sorry, soccer. I chose wrestling. I played soccer when I was a kid, but there wasn't enough punching. So eventually I got into MMA. There was a lot more punching. So why make the switch from MMA to wrestling? I love fighting, but I got burned out with the long training camps and only getting to fight a couple times a year. Plus, I wanted a new challenge. So I started training for this a few months back and WWE took notice. That's good, but don't expect this to be easy. You're going to have to work as hard or harder than you ever have before to make it to WWE. I realize that, and I respect everything that WWE superstars do, inside and outside the ring. And I know I can do the same thing, if not better. That's a high bar to set, but good luck. Hey, who are you? First day training here. It's nice to meet you in person. Since I transitioned from MMA to wrestling, I've been watching a lot of your matches from Japan. And when I heard you were here, I was excited to get in the ring with you. Yeah, well, you better act fast since I don't plan on being here too long. Why is that? Because they should have never sent me here to begin with. I don't belong in the same place as someone just crossing over from MMA or some stupid former mascot. If you haven't met that goon yet, don't bother. Don't underestimate me just because I come from another sport. Besides, I wouldn't be the first wrestler to cross over from MMA. 
Yeah, well, I kind of wish you were the last. You talk a good game, but when this is over, you'll be running back to whatever MMA promotion you were cut from. I've never run away from a challenge, and that's not going to change now. I look forward to proving you wrong. I heard you were starting today. Big fan. Thanks. You a big MMA fan? No, not really. I just love that viral video of the fight where you got knocked out in like two seconds. <laughs> Hilarious. Anyway, I'm actually crossing over from another sport too. I spent some time in minor league baseball. Really? Who'd you play for? Well, I wasn't a player. I was actually a mascot named Ribby. But I was around a ton of good athletes. Oh, okay. Well, that counts for something, I guess. The best part of the job was they used to have indie wrestling shows at the stadium all the time, where I got to rub elbows with legends like Jerry the King Lawler. He found out I was training on the side as a wrestler and actually helped me get a shot here. Not that I couldn't have made it on my own. Even if Lawler helped get your foot in the door, you wouldn't be here if you weren't talented. I'll see you out there in a bit. Sounds good, buddy. Oh, and before I forget, can you sign something for me before you leave today? Sure. Just as long as you don't sell it online. Ah, well, then you know what? I can get it some other time. I'm just messing with you. If you can make a few bucks, then good for you. And literally, it might only be a few bucks. <laughs> see you out there, Chase. I'd like to officially welcome our newest recruit to the start of his WWE journey. The rest of you have heard this speech already, so we'll try to make it quick. On our first day, he did the whole ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages thing. It was awesome. We'll do the talking, Chase. I was just telling him about your cool DX intro you did. Chase! What Road Dog was getting at is we are going to give you the foundation to succeed in WWE. What you do with it is up to you. Keep in mind, you will be judged at all times. The big man in the sky is always watching. Not that big man. There's a camera up there with a live feed that goes directly to Triple H's office in Stamford. The coaches and PC staff certainly have input, but ultimately, he'll decide when the time's right to bring the GMs from NXT, Raw, and SmackDown here so you can showcase your talents. I'm ready for that now. Yeah, we know you think that, but it's not your call, Big Shot. Okay, now that all that's out of the way, we're going to start with some one-on-one -on -one matches to see where everyone's at. All right, new guy, since it's your first day, we'll let you choose who you want to face. Okay, let's get started.
Hey, nice win. But keep in mind there was only one match. It's going to take a lot more than that to get Triple H and the GM's attention. You think Triple H was watching? Who knows? He's a busy guy, but I wouldn't worry about that. Focus on what you can control here. And now that I know what you're capable of, I'll be focused. I look forward to the challenge. Hey, big news! We got another member of DX coming to help out for a bit at the PC. Hornswoggle? Uh, no. One of the members of the best version of DX, X-Pac. No offense, but I actually think the original version of DX was the best. Wow. Offense taken. It's funny. Sean almost tells me the same thing. You guys were cool, but Sean and Hunter were the OGs. Okay. What if when X-Pac is here, we had a match to settle this debate? You and your OG hero, Sean Michaels, versus me and X-Pac. I've got two words for you. I'm in. Leave that to the pros.
Tengo una gran oportunidad para ti. That's Spanish for I got a big opportunity for you. Ignoring your terrible Spanish for a second, what's the opportunity? WWE was contacted to send a PC student to El Mago's retirement show in Mexico. They actually requested Hector, but for some reason he doesn't want to do it. So if you're interested, we'll have a triple threat between you, Paragon, and Chase to decide who will go to face El Mago's son, El Mago Jr., at the event. Reservar mi vuelo, which means book my flight. I only looked up that one sentence, so I'll take your word for it.
Good luck against El Mago Jr. in Mexico. I hope you beat him. That's the plan. I've been meaning to ask. Why didn't you want to go? Yeah, um, just wasn't. Fit. It would have been a chance for you to compete in your home country. And you're probably a fan of El Mago, right? I was, but he wasn't a fan of me. Okay. I was in a bit of a philosophical mood last night, and I started to wonder. If you never have a chance to use your finishing move, is it still a finisher? Or is it just a regular old move? 
What are you getting at? I guess I was thinking about how dominating my finisher is going to be in the WWE, but you guys are probably never even going to get to use yours, which is kind of sad. Total waste of some perfectly good finishing moves. I don't think you have to worry about that since I guarantee I could hit my finisher on you today. Really? Okay, well, how about we have a little fatal four-way finisher match? First one to hit theirs, wins. Deal. I look forward to showing you that my finishing move is not gonna go to waste.
Three talented superstars all have a chance to earn an opportunity to take on Damian Priest for his NXT North American Championship if they can just win tonight's triple threat. You make it sound so easy, Cole, but it's going to be anything but when you're talking about going up against Timothy Thatcher and Dominic Dijakovic. Their opponent will need to dig deep to beat two NXT studs of their caliber. This tag team looking to end their opponent. Folks, if you're having friends, Saks, then you should try it. And the electricity of this opponent is coursing through his veins. Oh, what a close line. Back into the ring, back to the action. Just rubbing salt in the wound now. Nice takedown. So oh, it's just punishing the knee. Shot after shot after shot. And he's asking for more. Into the turnbuckle. Followed in with a clothesline. Watch the athleticism. DDT. And off, there's the reversal. Nice handspring evasion. Drop kick. He's absorbed some damage already. Double the opponents means double the danger. He better have a plan. He is revving up the engine. He's not going to let anything stop him. Thatcher getting worked on right now. Crucial time for Thatcher to rediscover the style of offense he's known for. Reversal! Can he take advantage? Oh, God, knee meets face. Check this out. Just deadlift it up into a power bomb. This has got to hurt. I'll be quiet, guys. What a chop. Oh, man. Tough position to be caught in here. He's taking some good hits. He returns to the ring. From the top. Stop in the leg to the outside. This could get wild. Down he goes. Absolutely no telling what's underneath the ring tonight. Thatcher fires back. Uh, gripping the jaw. My goodness. That's insulting. Springboard misses the target. Hit toss. Big impact. Jarring headbutt. And the adrenaline is pumping, and the WWE Universe is on his side. Striking. He's absorbing some tough hits now. It's expected, Cole. In a triple threat match, the target on your back is twice the size. Oh, come on. What is he thinking? You had him down where you wanted. Got it scouted. And misses on the springboard. Oh, you can tell he's feeling it now. This fight is pumping him up. Everything working against Thatcher now. Thatcher has to find his aggression in order to level the playing field.
Setting it up. Boom. Jarring impact. Dijakovic preparing to end this one. He's able to fend off the attack. Dijakovic's attack gets reversed. Gets inside the ring. He went right into that turnbuckle. Look at him totally vibing with the WWE Universe right now. He's got the answer for that one. Dropping the elbow. And Dijakovic escapes danger. Sent flying. He's starting to struggle here. This should come as no surprise. In a havoc-filled triple threat, you're going to take some big... Will that keep that to ground? Makes a cover. Two. He's still in this fight. He had to dig deep to break that pin. But can it be done again? How much is left after that? That move has brought victory before, but not on this occasion. Might be time to think outside the box. He's ejected from the ring. something here. Just and the road break this one out. Great ring awareness there. Uh-oh, he's searching for something. Where it be? I think so. He's heading back to the ring. Oh, what he kick out of two. How in the world? Nice counter from Thatcher. Push. The end is looming now. Yeah, this is a dire situation right now. He's staring his opponent down, getting into that zone. Good officiating there. Referee seeing him the ropes and breaking the count. Look at this from D Finds a counter for Dijakovic. Inverted atomic drop. Judo throw oh, cut. That could have been it right there. Wow, springboard attack. And he's showing that he's still not done going on the offensive. Lots of heart being shown in this one. Great counter. Reversal on top of reversal. from all three superstars in this match. To win a triple threat match, you need incredible skill, instincts, or luck. Dare I say, tonight's winner showed all three in victory.
Last week, you earned the opportunity to face Damian Priest for his North American Championship. However, after the match, Priest announced a $50,000 bounty. And that tells me that just like Priest, the rest of the NXT locker room wants no part of me. So it's been business as usual. If anyone does want to try to cash in, I'll consider it a warm up for Priest. And if not, I'm ready either way. For anyone who could successfully take you out, how have you been dealing with this situation? Look, it's clear that Damian Priest knows he can't beat me. So this was the only solution he could come up with to hold on to his championship. But it's not going to work. So far, no one's even attempted to cash in on the bounty. And things have seemingly gotten out of hand backstage. No time to wait for a bell to ring. This thing's disintegrating into a backstage brawl. Powerless position to be in right now. Oh my God. Scouted. Sequence of reversals there. Being carried around with ease. On the table. Turns that around. Uh, Makes him pay with a counter. Uh, uh, catching a drop kick. Uh, yeah. oh, I able to counter. Oh, man. Backbreaker. Hold on a second. Could be a matter of time. Submission being locked in. Right now, he's looking for any way to break out of this, and he does. He's one step ahead there. Whatever's planned here can't be good. Power slam. Ow! Definitely not where you want to be right now. Just carried like a rag doll here. Punch lands. And this might not have a pleasant ending. Power bomb! Strong avoids damage. He knew that was coming. Gotta find a way to get out of this. Power slam!
impressive defense from Strong. Powerless position to be in right now. To the table with authority. Strong avoids damage. Evades their offense. Oh, it's a recipe for cracked ribs. He must have had that scouted. Kick to the gut, cinched up here. Here we go. Pump handle, face buster. Ah, oh, knee smashing the face. Hits to the core like that'll render you useless. and now a battle that's taken us to these perilous platforms over the loading dock. You never know what you're going to see when things break down like this. He's staring his opponent down, getting into that zone. Stop gloating and put your attention back to the match. He stopped to finish it off. And it's reverse pain for that mistake. Fourth from Claymore. <laughs> Definitely not where you want to be right now. Just carried like a rag doll here. An earth shaking power slam. Yeah. Strong evades the attack. Oh, merciless knee to the face. What a poop! The kick takes their opponent down. Holy moly! Lands on their feet! Trouble in pain! in on Damian Priest's bounty. This guy can't catch a break.
And you are looking at one of the most unshakable superstars on the roster. Absolutely a picture of resilience. He's been through ups and downs, but has never given up the fight. Bitter perseverance is what will make him such a threat in this matchup. And facing him is Santos Escobar, one of the more controversial superstars today. Escobar is obsessed with the legacy of Lucha Libre, but wants to create one on his own terms. No mask, all results. Escobar's creating a new, modern tradition, one win at a time. As far as he's concerned, he doesn't need to wear a mask to properly honor his ancestors. Desperate attempt here to get back on his feet. Oh, the rope step. Oh, no! A totally ill-advised decision there. Maybe slight hesitation there caused the outcome. Taken down to the canvas. Two! Yeah. Ha. Three! German suplex! Chop! Elbow smash! Brought down with a DDT! throwing your body out of the ring like that is more often than not going to provide such a result. That was an example of boldness backfiring. Springboard misses the target. That shoulder targeted there. Looking for a high risk, high reward situation. He's got him in the crosshairs. Lift off. Down and just uh, twisting that oh, neck twist, ruthless. Down on the windpipe. Uh -oh. And Escobar can't create any new tradition if he's taking hits like that. And what a push! Now Santos counters. And this one might be headed ringside. Stretching and tearing at all the ligaments in the leg. With a DDT! Oh. Two! Uh oh, jawbreaker! And he's taking this to the outside now. Catches the kick. Thunderous power bomb. He's going for it all. Maneuvers and the pace of this match has certainly picked up. Kick to the gut, cinched up here. Here we go. Handle face buster. Kicks out the knee. Watch this. This is breathtaking. Sure, he was done. Oh. Feeling like it's over for Santos. Try to end it. One, two. Hey, no way. No way. Wow, looks like this book has a couple more chapters in it. We might be seeing a whole saga written tonight. What's the tally? worth it now. Here is your winner, Zach Amen. And with the result
results of this battle plain to see on their face. At least they can say they won the match. With a win like this, things have got to taste a little bittersweet right about now. Actually, Saxton, I imagine the win tastes a lot more like pennies. Damian Priest's $100,000 bounty has officially turned NXT upside down. And now these bounty hunters look to take out Priest's upcoming opponent and split the empty hole amongst themselves. On the other hand, there's nothing like winning a difficult match like this to send a message to the NXT North American champion that you're still coming for his title. Oh, foot just stomping down. Oh, he deflects it right back. There they go. No way. Now that was a harebrained idea to try that. Was trying to find a way to attack, but completely wiped out. Back in the ring now. No, no. Oh, God, he had him break his arm. Vicious. Oh, working on the arm. Oh, oh man. Chin lock and now just rapid fire punches. Oh, yeah. Let's just all take a moment to truly appreciate and embrace his presence. Oh, a nasty stop to finish it off. You foiled that attempt. We'll take things into the ring. Save that, that attack. Face first. And he has free reign to the outside with no count outs to worry about. From the top. Oh, misses the mark. Nice snapmare. Ooh, a chop. Kicks out the knee. Watch this. This is breathtaking. Uh-oh. Clearing off the announce table. Oh, this is about to go from bad to worse. This is not going to be pretty. I don't want to see this happen. Now will be the time for everyone to clear out. Easier said than done. They are not concerned about anyone else's well-being. Yeah, I'm gonna worry about the rear and some footage. Can we get some help out here? You know, the best time we could have gotten some help out here would have been before they went through the table, Saxton. Someone to put some sense in their mind before doing something so reckless. Birch 
saw it coming. And it was a counter. Fishing for something beneath the ring. Oh, no. every other superstar in this match. Elimination matches are absolutely a cruel mistress, but they certainly found a way to overcome such a challenge. Damian Priest's opponent has been unstoppable ever since Priest placed a battle on his head. And I don't see that challenger slowing down tonight. It's been mo money, mo problems for Priest, and now he has to face the monster of his own, making in a no DQ match for the NXT North American Championship. Oh, did you just quote rap lyrics? If that's any indication of how wild tonight's gonna get, you are in for a treat, ladies and gentlemen. I saw that one coming, took advantage. He's got him scouted. Series of reversals. Oh, man. Two-handed choke slam. Turning the tables. Oh, look at the knees. Just unloading knees to the body. Taking this one back to the ring now. The champ taking their share of hits now. It's nothing he hasn't been through before. Oh, the reversal by Priest. Oh, catapulting down on the opponent. Fails to connect on the springboard. Oh, look at the well-placed elbow right on the mark. That was nasty. Great wherewithal on the counter. Dodges out of that. Firm control. Priest, top two. From the top. He misses the target. Short flight, but a rough landing. Counters. This could be an opportunity. Champ didn't 
finish it. If the count had been even a millisecond faster, things would be over. take more than that to put the champ away. But just how much more is needed? The end could still be right around the corner. It is unreal that this match is still going on after a maneuver that would end most matches. Set up in the corner of the ring. Drop kick. Beautiful. Spring. I got a feeling there's more to come here. There's a setup. Pick it up. Speed. Drop kick. The challenger is not in a great place. This is where endurance becomes so important in the late stages of the match. And he's able to fight Priest off. That was nasty. He saw it coming, taking advantage. He's headed up top. Thinking big. Watch out. get without the bell ringing. He's been placed in the corner now. Control here. Face full of turnbuckle. Yeah. Drop kick with precision. And Priest is brought to a disadvantage now. This is where that calm of Priest will be tested. Priest able to adapt. Priest finally finding an answer to that onslaught. That could be the spark Damien was looking for. Contact to the back of the net. Priest has him lined up. Party's over. It's time to hit the lights. Looks like the champ is going to retain. One, two, There's two. A kick out. I don't believe it. How did the challenger survive that? by the skin of their teeth. And don't expect the champ to start going easy on them now. Though you gotta believe he'll be looking for the kill shot one more time. Into the German. He's on the way to the right. Wisely stops the count.